Texas Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne is among many now recognizing the heroism shown by the rabbi and the hostages and the first responders on Saturday. But the Colleyville representative also wants to bring more attention to something else after the attack. J.D. Miles with her message for you tonight. Is the federal government taking the threat of terror attacks on Americans seriously enough? After what happened on Saturday, the House rep over that district says she doesn't think so as he held four worshipers hostage. During a speech on the House floor, North Texas Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne recognized the courage and bravery shown during the 11-hour hostage drama inside a Colleyville synagogue. That we will always stand together in unity to support each other. In a resolution she plans to introduce tomorrow, Van Dyne wants to officially document the crime as an act of terror with a clear anti-Semitic motive. He didn't go to an Applebee's. Mm -hmm. He specifically right. picked a synagogue. Mm -hmm. uh, that wasn't by chance. President Biden has called the attack both anti-Semitic and an act of terror. This but Van Dyne accuses his administration of overlooking the threat from people like Malik Faisal Akram by focusing too much on far right wing domestic terrorism. There is a lot of hate for Americans around the world and by only concentrating on other Americans. I think this administration is completely missing the boat. We've got a lot of enemies out there. Van Dyne says her resolution has bipartisan support with at least 80 other House members expected to sign it before it's introduced tomorrow. J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thank you so much.